Hi there, Delroy the Spark again. Um, I'm back at that industrial unit. I've finished the remedial work in unit one, so I'm just going to move into unit two. Unit two was where the most of the work was. Not a great deal of work, but it was more, there was more problems in there than this unit one. So I'm going to get on with that and see how it goes. These sockets here, there was a continuity problem, and plus I've got to renew them because they're, um, look at them, they're all damaged. I'm going to put metal ones under there. Okay. So, but first I've got to sort out the problem with the continuity. From what I remember, I've got to do that um, three phase socket there that's broken to do that one there. I've got a different make to that, so I'll have to change the box as well. I can't just change the front because it's not going to fit right. I think, oh yeah, I've got to change some of the, a couple of MC, MCBs to RCBOs in there. That pod business again. So um, I'll get on with that and see how it goes. Right, um, I've got it all connected there. Done my ZS on phase one and two. Just gonna do the ZS on phase three. As I had a little bit of a problem over at the fuse board that I had to sort out. So I had to concentrate on that and get that sorted. But it's all done now, so just gonna finish off this final test. Hopefully you can see that. Um, the other one was phase one was 0.39, phase two was 0.42. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try and test it with that gizmo that I got the last time. Oh man, these things. I'm sure it's easy to use, but I just ain't sussed it out. I ain't had time to read about it, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it out later on. That's, uh, that's all done there, them two sockets sorted out. So now uh, I'm gonna sort out the sockets in the storeroom. There was some sort of continuity fault on it, so um, I'm gonna do a, another test on it see if I can get it sorted um, what I've done here because when it's like this singles and all that it's sometimes and the, the um, cables aren't marked sometimes hard to tell which neutrals go with which um, phase if they haven't got it in order so what I usually do um, I usually take the neutral out and um, you can hear my beeper beeping, um, so I've got the right neutral. I was just confirming. This one was in order, but a lot of the times you come, you, you come over and it's not in order. So just to make sure, I disconnected the neutral while it was, while it was live. And there, it's telling me that the neutral's out, so I know it's the right neutral. But because um, a lot of the time when I go to houses and sometimes the fuse board's packed up. Like the other day when I done that EICR, the neutrals were all over the place. None of them were in order. So for the lighting, you just take out, take out the neutral, the light goes off, you know you've got the right neutral. So that's why I've done it. Okay, fine. Let's get testing. Right, so the last time I've done that circuit, I got, um, I don't know if you can see here, 
I got um, 0.42 end to end, 0 0.42, 0.03, 0.30 for the earth, and then for the R1, R2, I got 0.41, but they weren't even, they weren't from what I remember. But this time when I've done it, I got no point. I just turned off my tester and lost the reading, but it was 0.21 all round. The, the highest one was 0.27, which is, which is fine, the midpoint type of thing. One of them's going to be higher, but all of them were um, 0.21. So, because what I've done this time, because they're going to be changed anyway, I, um, I connect, I've done it at the connections, right? I've done it across the phase and the earth here, right? And um, so I didn't use my plug test, I'd done that. Because sometimes if the socket's old, that's what I found. Um, well, mind you, I, I went on a course down the e -I -C -E, um, I -E -E years ago and the lecturer there showed us that. He goes, if you don't get, he goes, the best way to get the best readings is go to the connections. That way, you go to the connections, your readings are solid. So when, if I get dodgy readings on the sockets or variable, that, that's what I do, I drop them and they, then go straight across the connection. And um, that's how, that's what I've done here and it's fine. The only thing is, the um, earth, the end-to-end -end earth is 0 0.30 and the phase in neutral is 0 0.42. Now, it should be twice as, it should be a twice. I would have expected it to be 0 0.80 or 0 0.7 something, but it's only 0 0.30. But what, what I reckon is, if you noticed, all these sockets are wide in twin and earth. Look, they're in twin and earth but at the at the fuse board it's in singles so i'm thinking somewhere in that metal trunking um it's um maybe there's a connection and maybe it's connect the earth is connected to the metal trunking so it brings the value right down that's the only thing i can assume because um you've got twin and earth one end and then singles at the other. So there's got to be a joint somewhere. So that's what's causing that problem. Right, this one here, don't know if you can see that, they've, um, the bush, the plastic bush is broken in, this, in the arm um, coupler. So I don't know what happened there, I'm going to have to try and get that out. So they used one of these boxes to try and cover that up. <laughs> that's, what would you, that's what you'd use on a trunking, on trunking. So, see if I can... Um, yeah, let's see if I can get that out. Uh, 
Hello, uh, Delroy Spark again. I'm back at this industrial unit just to finish off a couple of things, a uh, couple of little things. Label up the fuse board and um, put up some trunking lid at the high level where the lights are in in the second unit. I think what what's happened the first unit the, the lights are fitted to the trunking, but I think in this one they've they lowered the fittings, put them on hangers. But then they, they've left, they didn't replace the trunking lid and the cable sort of, some parts it's hanging out and all that. So I'm just going to put a bit of trunking lid to cover that part. Um, I found similar trun trunking lid. I'm not sure if it's going to fit, to be honest. It looked the same, but we'll see. So I'll get in there, see what we can do. <laughs> Look at all this stuff back. Oh my days. Let's see if I can get up there. Up there. There's um, some cable. It's not dangerous or anything, but I just thought it'd be a good idea to just to put the chunking lid back, you know? That's one place there. And yeah, up there as well. Chunky lid is missing the other way, but there's no cables there. No cables hanging. I'm more particular about this, worried about. Well, not really worried, just want to do those parts, just cover them up, and that's it. So we'll get on with it and see how it goes. Yeah, there you can see a little bit better. There's the, just going to put some lid to cover up them uh, cables. Over there, there's one higher level, but it's closer, the, the fitting's closer to the trunking. But there's a brown cable hanging over the side of the, the, um, the fitting. It's just hanging there. I'll show you later on. But, um, so I think I'm going to have to do something over there. Because I don't think you can't leave a live cable just hanging like that. Anyway, so I'll get on with this and see how it goes. This is a sample of the original trunking that's up there. I just took that. And the, that's the, what I've got from, from CEF. Yeah, there the it looks very there's a slight difference in, difference in construction but hopefully it'll fit hopefully it'll fit so i'll get on with it and see how it goes yep there's the lid fit it's not the exact fit but it's better than having the cables sticking through i don't know where you'd get the exact trunking lid from because i don't even know what the make of trunking is but um fits it's keeping the trunking in the cables in that's the best i can do so making the best of a bad job okay Cool. Can you see that cable hanging over the sides of that fitting? Um, it's the phase cable. I mean, that's very high. It's out of the way. But um, I'm still going to see if I can get it back into the trunk and put a little bit of uh, lid on there to keep it in place. Because it's, um, you, I can, you probably, I don't know if you can see, but right along, I can see the cables. This one's hanging over the furthest, but there are other cables that are sticking out. Um, I mean, they're, like I say, they're so high that it's not a danger to anyone. But still, if I can get it back in, get it back in, it's not a good look, is it? So that's all complete. There's my circuit chart. And, yeah. There. All done. This one's all finished. This is the other one. These are two circuit charts. Well, that's the circuit chart and that's the phasing. So replicates that one there, yeah? So they can um, easily see which MCB does what. It's all here, yeah? Cool. Okay, good. <laughs> 